Tyler Smith is going to shock a lot of people. A whole lot of people. That boy focused. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. Listen, we good. We are good, Cowboys Nation. Look, I've said this a bunch of times since the draft. Draft night, I was caught off guard. I did not know how to feel about our first round draft pick. I wasn't familiar. I wasn't. I heard small rumblings about it. Mel Kuyper had mentioned it, but I just ain't take it seriously. You know, I had my eyes and mind set on other players. So when we took Tyler Smith, I was like, man, I don't know. I do not know. But listen, what was described as, oh, he's a project. He's not going to be ready year one. People cannot have been more wrong. And I know there has been no actual practice. Nobody has taken a snap yet. But see, a lot of greatness the foundation of greatness is laid in the offseason. It's laid in the preparation and what you do before you even touch the field. And see, someone that's young usually just rolls off their pure talent, their pure strength, agility, etc. Tyler Smith is showing me that he wants to. See, want to is a big deal in sports. Do you want it? How much do you want it? A lot of Cowboys players, a lot of people that make this team end up thinking it's supposed to be given to them. Tyler Smith is one of them people that want it. Like I said, in countless interviews. And just listen to Micah. I think Tyler's going to be a really good player. I know to some people it's probably wouldn't be what they expected. But I think, man, we're all really excited about him. And I think uh, he's a strong kid. He gets his hands on you. I don't see too many people getting away with him. He got the best of a lot of guys here in practice so far. Really made a great impression. Um, I'm excited to see a step forward. It seems like he knows exactly the type of player he wants to be and what steps he's got to take. And I think he got the best tackle in the game to look from. You know, he got Tyron Smith was learning. Still got Zach to learn the guard position and tackle, whatever he's learned. I think he got some true Hall of Fame guys to learn from. And I think he's stepping into the right shoes and showing exactly what we wanted to see. You know, he got some of the big guys. And he's like, oh, man, he, he got some strong hands. So uh, I'm really excited about him. Did you hear how Micah just described him? He just talked about this boy's strength. Like, he Micah Parsons is a freak of nature. Like, an extension level event type freak of nature. Like, he came into this league and part-time pass rushed and dominated. No question. To the point where people are looking at him like a veteran on the team and in the league. He was that dominant. Now, Micah's saying, hey, man. You know, I mentioned about a week ago that he got stonewalled. I know, you know, shorts and, 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 and shells and whatever. He got stonewalled by Tyler Smith on a tackle pass rush rep. But the thing I take from that is this. Just to have the ability, the agility, the strength to slow down Michael Parsons, who's a bull, strong, fast. Just to have that ability, even accidentally, is amazing. Because that ain't no easy task. It's grown veteran, all pro people that couldn't stop Micah Parsons last year. Let alone a rookie out of Tulsa that nobody believes in. We believe in him, though. Micah just put the ultimate stamp on him. He's being compared to Ronald Leary. I'm not going to say cowboy great as in all-time great, but definitely, definitely in the last 10, 12 years, one of the best offensive linemen to do it. Ronald Leary, Leary was no joke. Strong as an ox, a little bit more short and stout, but one of the anchors of that great offensive line in the early 2010s. No question. We've missed Ronald Leary. You know, we wanted Connor Williams to be that, but he just wasn't. That strength wasn't there. See, shout out to my man, Vach Lombardi. Skywalker's still on the show they do every day on the volume. Check that out. Um, they were saying that, you know, Connor's whole tenure there, no one talked about his strength ever. Not as a veteran, not as a rookie. It was also, he going to always, so he going to get strong enough. This dude ain't laced him up yet. And people was talking about, nah, he's strong. Like, not it's not funny strong. The veterans on the team was like, all right, I see him. 
That's high praise. If you think they do this to everybody, they don't. Or they would be hyping up Josh Ball. Well, let's go. I'll do it. But the media doesn't. The media likes negative stories. They would love to come out and say Tyler William or Tyler Smith ain't it. Tyler Smith is not it. They would love to float that story out there. The Cowboys is looking worse than y'all think. Instead, they've had to report Tyler Smith is looking crucial. One of the other big things I saw that Tyler Smith did recently, amazing. He went to Von Miller's Pass Rush Summit. Shout out to my boy Law Nation with the video. Um, at the summit, and I'll put the video up. At the summit, he was out there working with Calais Campbell, other um, pass rushers, Von Miller, um, and he, his guest was D-Ware. D-Ware brought him. You know, they do a pass rush summit for the younger pass rushers in the league to get them knowledge, grow them, etc. But see, Tyler Smith is smart. He went to soak up knowledge from some of the best pass rushers, best veteran pass rushers in the league. What do you do to beat a player like me? What do you do to beat guards? What's your technique? I'll be the trial dummy. I'll go against some of y'all. I'm trying to pick up technique because if I can understand your technique and what some of the greats do to beat us, I can know how to stop them. His work ethic already, he's one of the youngest, if not, I think he might be the youngest player in the draft. Somebody quote me, uh, me, let me know if that's true. But I've heard he's one of the youngest players, like one of the like top five youngest players in the draft. And he's already working like this? He's supposed to be on his, I'm a cowboy now world tour. I was the first round draft pick. Nah grinding at OTAs and his off time at the pass rush summit. He don't got to be there. Probably working with other people like Duke Mayweather and stuff, stuff that, that's probably not reported. But I just keep hearing how strong he is, how focused he is, how we got ourselves a good one. And I'm talking about from Zach Martin, from um, Micah Parsons, from other veterans on this team and media, etc. We in good hands, Cowboys. We are in good hands, you know. You go into a draft and you say, if I can get two starters out of this draft, I've won. We solidified already. We got one definite starter that's going to be good. I'm stamping it right now. He's going to be a great player. He's going to reestablish this offensive line, and we're going to start feeling like we're getting back to the wall. I'm telling you all right now. And he has position flex. He's guard to tackle. Mike McCarthy described him as a left side player. They're getting him his tackle reps for in case of emergency, but they're going to let him focus on guard this year. And he going to maul people. Maul people. I love it. I love it. Sam Williams can come out and be decent. He don't even got to be a world beater. That's another win. That's another win. Jalen Tober going to get his targets. He going to look great. We come out of this draft with three or two and a possible starters, maybe three. We have one. And I think that Ferguson going to be a player. So that's four starters possibly. Like, I'm telling you, Cowboys Nation, we are in good hands with our draft picks. They're not flashy. They're hard workers. They're grinders. And Tyler Smith is at the top of that. He's in the forefront of that. Just do yourself a favor. Look up video. Look up interviews of this young man. I promise you, you will be excited and ecstatic after just listening to him talk. After just watching him get busy, you will be like, yo, we got one. It's going to feel like in a couple years, they're going to describe him as one of the best draft picks in this draft. I promise you that. And I know you're going to say, how do you know that? I can just tell. When you see a hard worker and somebody that's that focused with that physical ability, oh, it's going to work. If he was lazy and not trying and stuff like that, nah. But he's putting the proof where his work ethic is. He's grinding. He's already physically talented and amazingly strong as an ox. I'm telling y'all right now, Cowboys Nation, we are in good hands with Tyler Smith. With this draft class and this team is way better than people are giving it credit for. But y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Tyler Smith. What do y'all think going forward? Do y'all think that um we made an excellent selection? Because I do. It's your boy, Mr. Roman. I'll holler.